Hey guys, Mark Dawes here. Now you've probably seen I put a few posts out recently about stress and about mental health and the costs of this now are uh, reaching crisis and critical point. I mean, stress is costing UK employers about 58 billion pounds a year and mental health, they're calling it a pandemic because there's not enough resources to cope with the demand for help. Now, a lot of people out there, uh, you know, uh, worrying about this, a lot of people are suffering. One thing I, I'll say to you is this, don't watch or focus or read or listen to negative stuff. That will help you in a big way. I mean, let me explain. I mean, you can see behind me here is a path I'm walking on. It's quite a clear path. Now, once upon a time in history, that path wouldn't have been there. It'd just been part of nature, probably overgrown. But someone or something walked down it and their footprints. And then it probably went down there again and left some more. Then other people or things went down it. And in the end, we end up with a very clear defined pathway. Now in your brain, you have networks, neurological networks. When you think a certain way, positive or negative, your brain doesn't prejudice your unconscious mind. You'll create neural networks in your brain. You'll create neural pathways. The more you focus on something, positive or negative, the stronger those pathways become. They recruit more neurons into the network. So I'll give you an example. Someone who reads Braille, for example, a visually impaired person, they have larger networks in their brain reading Braille than people that don't read Braille. Why? Because they practice it more. The same with people who play musical instruments. So if you focus on the negative, if you're constantly worrying about what's going to go wrong, if you're watching the news with all the negative stuff out there, and you're worrying about this consistently. Remember, your brain doesn't know the difference between perception and reality. What I mean by that is, if someone presents you with a real fact or a real situation in front of you, that's reality. But if you're thinking about it, perception, the brain doesn't know the difference. It will just grow that network and make that pathway stronger. So what is this gonna do with stress and mental health training? Well, I've been in this industry a long time. I've seen a lot of people delivering training on this. And the training focuses people's awareness on the negative aspects of it. It tells them about all the things that could go wrong. It tells them all about the symptoms that they could actually get. And if they go away and worry about that, they'll start to develop neurological pathways in their brain. Now, Dr. Lisa Rankin wrote a book. And in her book, she said that 79% of medical students end up getting the symptoms of the disease they focus on because of the very fact that they're worrying about the very thing that they shouldn't be worrying about. Simple as that, really. So, got my point here. Hi, yes. Hello. Okay. Hello, mate. I'll just meet, meet people on my walk. So, it's a fact. You're gonna, it's gonna happen. You know. So, why am I telling you this? Well, we did some training some years ago. But it was, it's, I call it quantum thinking training. And I teach people how to retrain their brains. Basically, that's fundamentally it. A lot of positive psychology in there, a lot of stuff from Buddhist scriptures, loads and loads of stuff in there, but evidence-based. And this training actually made a difference. We measured it against the HSE Stress Management Toolkit, and the results were outstanding. We actually were getting better results than any other course out there. Now, why am I doing this video? Is, am I trying to promote the training? Absolutely. And I'll tell you why. I think if you can help someone, you have an obligation to actually promote whatever you do. Uh, not, not a need, an obligation. And this, the training that I've delivered has helped a lot of people. You can go to the webpage, I'll leave a link below and you can see all the evidence for yourself. So here's the thing. If you're an employer watching this and you're getting high staff absenteeism, you're, you've got either your, your productivity going through the floor because of a stress-related absenteeism or people suffering think about getting in touch uh, now by the way I'm, I'm, I'm not too bothered uh, from my perspective about whether you do or whether you don't because I'm looking to slow down anyway I'm retiring at the end of the year but this is something I'm passionate about and Travel and Rab who are taking over NFPS are going to be promoting this I also want to give a big shout out to a guy called Vic Vickery here as well Vic's an extraordinary guy uh, he's been to the South Pole he's been to the North Pole and he did that with, a, with, a, with an illness, with a genetic illness, and he had to take medication that the doctor said he couldn't take, because if that medication froze, he'd die, simply. But he did this despite all of that stuff. So I want to give a shout out to Vic, because Vic's doing some great stuff with stress management, mental health and resilience training. And this is from a guy that's faced adversity and has had to 
you'll be resilient in the face of that. So you're learning from someone who's actually walked the walk and talked the talk. And Vic is gonna be partnering up with us. So between us, we've got a, an awful lot to offer. So if you're interested, get in touch. Again, I'm not gonna be pushy about this stuff, but I just know that what we do helps because the evidence is there. Now there'll be a link below this video. Click on that link, go and have a look, have a read for yourself. If you've got any questions, get in touch. I'm happy to discuss it. But, you know, let's start helping each other. And more importantly, let's stop people from suffering from stress and mental health because it can be one of the biggest killers out there. All right, you guys have a nice day.